Well, the position of the Commission on the change to the retirement age in France is well known. And this is reflected in the recommendations adopted by the Member States in July last. These recommendations stress not only the need to ensure that there is stability of public finances, but also to reduce the costs of labor in France in order to avoid any further deterioration in the competitiveness of French companies and their ability to create jobs. Now, given that background, the European Commission has taken note of the announcements made by Prime Minister Echol yesterday. We are looking at the draft law so as to be able to give a detailed evaluation of its impact on French public finances. On the basis of information available to us, the efforts which have been made or will be made up to 2020 will be essentially based on an increase in employers and employees' contributions. The government said that these increases will be compensated for by uh, fall in the employer's contribution to the social security system, but we don't have any details about this at the moment.